Do charts predict the future? A lot of people seem to think so, but is this actually the truth? Is this how charts should be used? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. There are two sets of people out there that I, I, I see. One set understands charts, what they truly are, how you truly use them. The other just doesn't understand charts. They think they're a scam, they think they're a joke, some people believe in them, but they believe in them for the wrong reasons. That reason being, they tell the future. They're like a crystal ball. So the skeptics say charts are a scam. They don't tell the future. Nothing does. Other people, I want to use charts because they can tell the future. Now, I do understand why skeptics and wild people say, ah, charts don't work. Why they would think that? Because a lot of people try to market, try to present that, hey, charts tell the future. Charts, you can look in, you, you can figure out what's gonna happen before it does, and that's just not true. So I wanna talk about what charts really are, and more importantly, how they're used and how they should be used in a true sense, because I, I hate to break it to you if you think that there's a such thing as a guarantee in the market, but I don't care what you're using, there is no such thing as a guarantee, and that implies, and that applies to charts. So I wanna go through a story, and then we're gonna tie that back to charts as a whole. So the story revolves around an electric fence, you know, an invisible electric fence. And I've never had an experience with one, but I'm assuming it's pretty painful, you know, if you, if you cross into the path of the electric fence. So let's just go through this story right now. So we have somebody, we'll call him Billy Bob. So Billy Bob's on a journey. He's traveling, traveling, all of a sudden, zzz, he gets zapped right here. Now getting zapped, not a pleasant experience. Ouch, pain point. So Billy Bob's smart. He doesn't like the pain. He's going to go back. Then, you know, all right, I'm going to go back up again. I'm going to, you know, go on my journey again. Zzz, right here. He gets zapped again. Ouch. Okay, well, Billy Bob, you know, he's smart. I'm going to go back down. Then he says, you know what? I'm going to head back up again. Zzz, he gets zapped again. By the way, aren't I a nice guy for not charging for these sound effects that I'm providing? He's a smart guy. He goes back down. Then he heads up again. Now, hopefully you're saying, hey, wait a second, where did this app go? Hopefully that's what you're saying. I mean, we had this part right here where he just kept getting zapped. But all of a sudden, I really hope in my mind you're waiting for the beautiful sound effect that I make. And then there was no sound effect right there. So you're thinking, wait, 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 what's going on with the story? Did the power run out? You know, it, you know did the farmer or whoever put up the electric fence, did they maybe just take out the fence? Uh, you know, like I said, was there a glitch in the system? Was it a, you know, just a huge glitch in terms of no power? Uh, you know, just, there's a lot of things like, wait, what happened? Why isn't Billy Bob getting zapped anymore? And that's what charts is. Charts is just a way to take past history, to learn about a story, and then when you see something that, hey, wait a minute. In this case, this line making it up through this previous point, that tells us something is different. Now, again, no guarantees. But charts are not a way to predict the future. Just because these three times before Billy Bob had been electrocuted, that doesn't mean that there's a guarantee right here that Billy Bob will for sure get zapped right there. That just doesn't exist. Now, according to history, yeah, there, there looks like probabilities, odds are Billy Bob's gonna get zapped. But there, you don't know that for sure. So you can't look at that and say, well, three previous times Billy Bob got zapped, Therefore, for sure, 100% guaranteed, he's gonna get zapped right here. Again, likelihood, probabilities, yeah. He'll probably get zapped, but not a guarantee. So when you look at this from a charting perspective, look at this as the price. I mean, if you're thinking about buying, and you see this every time, think about what's happened to the people that have bought at this time every single time. Well, the price is pulled back. So is it smart to just go up there and buy right there? Probably not. Now, of course, you could get the move to the upside, but the point is by using charts, you can start to see the story, and the story is, you know what? Probably not smart to buy right at that spot. Maybe wait to see if the price can get through that spot. Maybe wait to see if the electric fence has been turned off. And this is just one little small area within charts where you can kind of read the story of what's going on and then make decisions based off it. So yeah, people say, oh, charts are all based off of things that have happened in the past. Yeah, exactly. Charts are helping us measure, helping us plan for uncertainty. And that's all the market is, is uncertainty. Unless you, uh, you know, have some sort of time machine, 
You do not know what's gonna happen in the market within the next 15 seconds. And if you say you do, eh, pretty sure you're lying. So charts, again, I wanna say that again, they do not predict the future, but based on the past, based on the story that is being told, they can help us plan and manage uncertainty. That's what chart is. And if you wanna take another step back, they're great for risk management. You know, what makes sense for a chart? What doesn't make sense? Again, within the story of this, does it make sense to, uh, you know, if this was the price to be buying right at this point where previously, it, you know, the price has gotten zapped every time? No, but if the price can get through there, all right, something is different. Now, are we gonna know what's different? Are we gonna know why the electrical fence is no longer, you know, sending out shocks? Again, it could be the fence is just turned off. It could be the fence doesn't exist. It could be maybe there's a power outage and it doesn't have any power. But the point is, who really cares about the why? Who cares why is the fence down? We just care as traders, hey, something different here. Billy Bob was able to get through and that's the way price action works and that's the way charts are used to understand the story and then base a plan around. Now for you people that do understand charts, maybe you noticed what I was doing, but look at Billy Bob's progress the whole time. So I'll just leave it at that, you know, higher lows. Uh, if you're new, that probably doesn't mean much to you, but you know, there's a story in here that I'm telling um, and you know, maybe I could do something like that too. And then heck, why not? You know, so in the world of charts, we'd call this an ascending triangle, but whoever thought an ascending triangle could really be the same as Billy Bob approaching electric fence, but that's really what's going on here, um, you know, from a charting perspective. But again, with this sort of stuff, understanding the story, understanding the price action, which is what's charts telling us, yes, it's based off the past, but you know, past can be a great indicator of the future. Based off of what we've seen, we can put together plans, plans of uncertainty. Make sure that we have rational and logical plans. So no, charts do not predict the future. That'd be awesome if they did, but anybody even slightly portraying that that's how charts work, that's just not how it actually is in reality. Nothing, fundamentals, PE ratios, all that sort of stuff, nothing predicts the future. If it was, then there'd be some super, super, super rich people out there and everybody would use that. So, um, but you know, so the next time you come across or think, oh, charts don't work because you know, nothing can tell the future. Well, take, keep in mind, think about the electrical fence. As traders, one of the key things, most basic things in the world of charts is we're looking for electrical fences out there. Where's electrical fences? And that way we can figure out and plan around, you know, how should, how should we react as traders around those electrical fences? So hopefully this analogy makes sense. Hopefully it kind of illustrates a story about how charts should really be worked and uh, you know, can help you out. If you have any questions or anything, by all means, you can leave a comment below, send me an email. Uh, I'd be happy to uh, help you out. But hopefully this piques your interest, maybe gives you a little bit different insight on what charts are and more importantly, how they should actually be used.